on the set of Detroit 187 with yes, James McDaniel. Uh, All right, tell me a little bit about the episodes that you shot, maybe just finished and are shooting now. Just finished and are just shooting now. Um, the funny thing about that is, is generally speaking, when I finish an episode, <laughs> it's like God. <laughs> I'm, I'm at work now, I'm shooting a scene at work now. Um, tomorrow, it will be gone. <laughs> It's it, it, my memory kind of of scenes works the same way as my memory in life. <laughs> you know, what did I eat for lunch yesterday? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> is that the way that you would approach? Like, uh, is that having been in the, in the business for so long? Is that a way you've approached scenes and shows and things like that your whole career? Or is um, something uh, pretty much so? You know, I mean, you know, one episode at a time. Um, I don't look much further than that. I mean, you know, one of the joys that you know people like myself, so artists that have mm -hmm. to go, go to work is to not know what's going to happen during the day. You know, every day you jump out of bed and it's like, what the hell is going to happen today? And um, we open these these little Christmas presents, I call them, which are scripts at the beginning of each episode. And you go, oh, my character dances? <laughs> okay, let's see. How does Sergeant Jesse Longford dance? And that's that's the joy of it. It's not look too far ahead. It's, it's like every day, you know, you just wake up and do it. I love the character. I love Jesse because he, he is laid back and he's kind of got his mindset on, on Italy, but he's also a very good detective and I feel like you could trust him with things. Um, what's your favorite thing about this character? My favorite thing about this character is um, that he's every man, mm. you know, there's not a whole hell of a lot of bells and whistles to him, but therein lies the charm, I think, you know. Um, I, li I like uh, I like simple people, you know, people that, that that really get it, and I think he really gets it, you know. Um, he doesn't go too high, he doesn't go too low. He's just he's he's a worker bee, and, mm -hmm. but he's got a sense of humor. He's got a dry wit, you know. He's got mother wit, you know. I I I, I really I'm I'm charmed by him. I like him. I like the humor in the show. I like that it's not. Just, it's not an all-out funny show, but there's so much true-to-life humor in it. Mm -hmm. um, is that fun to be able to play not just a straight procedural? Oh yeah, I mean, if if, if you want to if you want to feel something for a, a, a character, if if you want the dramatic moments to work, you have to you have to get into people's hearts too, and humor is so essential to that. You know, I mean, who likes kind of a dry, flat, you know, crispy kind of just. <laughs> um, procedural straight ahead type of person no I, I want to see so I mean uh, James Garner on the Rockford Files why, why do we love him because he, he, he was funny too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how's shooting in Detroit versus shooting in other cities oh it's better yeah oh it's great I mean you can focus here um, people really appreciate you there's not a, it's it's not like a big cities like um, like New York and LA mm -hmm. you know it's looking up and down, looking what kind of shoes you have on, looking what kind of car you're driving. It's like, hey, how are you? Right. How are you? What, do you <laughs> like our city? What, what is it? It's, it's an ideal place to work and focus, you know? Um, the people are wonderful. They're like the people that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. um, they're, 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 there's a lot of um, misunderstandings about Detroit. And one is the people are quite educated and quite educated. And um, we're quite artistic. There's a wonderful artistic movement going on here. It's an easy city to move around. Mm -hmm. And it's very comfortable living. Excellent. I love it. Excellent. One last thing here. Why should people tune in when Detroit 187 comes back for the second half of the season? Um, I, I read a lot of scripts. Um, we got, I believe, the best writers in the business right now. These guys can really write. They really care. And um, if you just want something that's kind of like a, a roller coaster ride where you just watch it for an hour, you turn it off and there's nothing left. But if you want something to think about, if you, if you want three or four belly laughs, um, if you want something that's actually going to make you think when it's all said and done, um, uh, th that's the show that we are. If you want the other thing, um, maybe it's not the thing that you want to see, but I, I think um, in a television season that is so bereft of um, intellect, I, I, I think we're a bright spot. I agree completely.
Thank, Thank you. you very much.